Peace, kings and queens, guys and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. I pray you well. This is going to be a quick collective reading. Late night. 1107 significant Scorpio energy. That could be your birthday. Someone could be a life path number seven, six, eight, two. Uh, Something about surgery here. Um, something about early check-in. You got temperance and you got Capricorn. Just be alone for now. Develop your craft. Sagittarius. So you have Sagittarius twice. December 14th. And you have January 4th, Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could be connecting with uh, a Sagittarius here. With the Ace of Cups or a Virgo. Or a water sign. Or there's a Sagittarius coming towards you. I don't know, this is your position. Trust your intuition here. Fear is what's making you question it. Missed opportunity. All right. So some of you guys may be overthinking your situation, um, which may cause you to miss out on an opportunity. Um, but the Capricorn and fear is what's making you question it. There's something very significant about Saturn or about a Capricorn. You can have Saturn and Capricorn, but some sort of resistance is here. What is this? So, I can't read that card from here. And it came out backwards. Karmic partner. So some of y'all do need to trust your intuition regarding a karmic partner. The hangman, Pisces energy. I'm also picking up Gemini. Taurus. We got a single that came out right after Taurus. So some of you guys could be separating from a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Sagittarius, where this sign is karmic to you, or you're one of these signs. Somebody just rather be single. It's too much resistance here. Someone's more comfortable single, a Taurus. Like, look how they're kicked back. Like, they're happy here. And this is giving more like a facade. Like, maybe something looks good on the outside, but behind closed doors, things are a mess and complete turmoil. Oh, and the one that fell on the card was self-absorbed, but it came out in reverse. So I feel like somebody could be dealing with, um, you know, this is giving a, the empath and the narcissist type of situation a situation is just not balanced as it should be and with Sagittarius energy here twice you're supposed to be in a balanced connection or living a balanced lifestyle there's someone throwing it off here it could be Saturn itself okay warning you about a karmic situation or warning you to not go into a relationship because it's going to be karmic you'll be better off single Give me more for the Sagittarius and the Ace of Cups. Gemini. So opposite sign. Heartbreak. So this is Gemini coming towards you as a heartbreaker. You got Scorpio, you got Pisces, you got Aquarius.
playing games. Something about the Three of Swords betrayal. Your vision is clear here. You see what the fuck is up with this person? Aquarius again. Empathy. I feel like this is somebody who plays mind games and they play on your 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 gift of being an empath. Mirror effect. Star crossed love. Or lovers. Someone can be a life path eleven. Or 22, 5, what is this temperance and trust your intuition, please? Rebirth, Scorpio, number 13, so you're very empathic or you're very intuitive, your instincts are very high best of both worlds what is this playing games so somebody could be playing games as it pertains to their sexuality here the fool Aquarius we've seen Aquarius three times or something about the energy of Uranus Young at heart. I was just going to say there's something about a baby. There could be a birth of a child happening here as well. What's the uh, playing games? The moon. A cancer. Or Pisces. This person is hiding something about their sexuality here. Yeah, codependency. Sagittarius again and the Ten of Cups. That's the devil energy. Capricorn again, Sag again. This could be a Cap and Sag relationship. Sag and Gemini, Sag and Taurus, Sag and Aquarius. Fast. All you need is water. Some of you guys need to fast so you can get more information about this. This is Aquarius again and the Magician. This air sign is very manipulative. Stay focused, and the way others view you is none of your business. Remember why you started. What is this missed opportunity? Let's just be alone. The chariot and the strength. Some of you guys, you may be feeling like you missed an opportunity on someone. Rejection is God's protection, all right? There's somebody here who's very codependent, they're toxic, and they're reckless, okay? This person may, <laughs> I'm picking up on the Cam Newton situation, okay? This is someone who may uh, be the type to create, you know, broken homes, or they may have multiple kids. Um, this person is... is there's a, there are catalysts to you taking a new direction. You guys probably can't see that. But this says new direction. You have the chariot and you have strength. But some of you guys, you may be also attached to this person with Capricorn and codependency here. And you may be needing to find the courage to be alone and take your losses with this. Leo, Cancer. Virgo. And something pertaining to your health. 
mental health or physical health. Aries. What's the Virgo? Libra. So there's balance coming in. Some of you guys may have dodged a bullet in regards to your health. Express your feelings. This is giving me, um, could be an androgynous man. Uh, this could also be someone who is bisexual or flamboyant. A Libra, a Gemini again. I believe Prince was a Gemini. And you got Aries again. There could be a Pisces who feels like you're a breath of fresh air. Something also about the dating scene. Um, somebody's just over it. What do you say? This is divinely orchestrated. Things will work out for the best. No one can stop you doing it through social media. So something is divinely orchestrated. What is this? Trust God. Believe in the divine. Someone likes you. And there's nothing to fear. So I feel like when you trust divine's timing, the person that comes in for you, uh, the person that comes in for you, <clears throat> you'll know. You'll feel it. You'll know that it's right. You'll know that this person was sent to you. Clarify they like you. Who is this? Who is this? Like it on the collective? sign or a Scorpio, a Leo. I feel like whoever this is, you're going to be shocked. This person could be hiding their feelings for you because they have a lot going on. The Ten of Wands. All they can offer probably is sex with the Knight of Wands and the Tower. This person could be going through a divorce, a separation, some sort of legal battle. For some reason, they really feeling you though. Ace of Cups, the lover, a Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. This ain't the one. This ain't the person. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This ain't it. I don't like what they coming with. They can whoever this is. They can like you from afar. Just period. There's that. Yeah, Five of Swords. This person is a headache. Page of Cups, very immature. Nine of Pentacles, if they want something from you. You could be a Virgo, or this could be a Virgo. They want some sort of refuge. King of Cups, Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. What is the M? Um, <laughs> Oh, this is divinely orchestrated. Yeah, fire sign, king of wands. Very for the sag. Oh, the five of swords. The moon. These are some tests. These are tests. With the moon and the five of swords here, whoever this is, they have tricks up their, up their sleeve. Um, now, this is giving me the interview with Nick Cannon, who basically was saying, oh, he can be anything a woman wants him to be as a representative showing up. And then, boom, the toxic Nick shows up. So, I feel like this is somebody who is very good at putting on a facade or making you feel like, oh, you were sent to me. No, they got some tricks up their sleeve with the moon and the five of swords, the six of swords, and the chariot. I feel like you're going to be whisked 
away from this person in divine timing. So I'm getting. There's nothing to fear. What is this? The six of wands reverse. Somebody may be very handsome or very beautiful, maybe very good looking. So you may have to use all of your strength to ignore this person and not give them any attention because they're no good for you. They're toxic. Let's pick that up. Yeah, three of swords, queen of cups. Use your intuition. The moon is here. Pay attention to your gut. This person is... They're unsuccessful. They have a bad reputation. And whatever they're known for, I feel like it. what they're known for is their inconsistency. And their lack of passion. Six of Pentacles. This person breadcrumbs a lot of people or... They make a lot of empty promises. Ace of Wands. What is that? Seven of Pentacles. This person wants you to invest in something that they have going on. They may have an opportunity coming in, but they don't have the finances. And they're attempting to figure out what to do, where to go, who to call. And there you are, the empath again, with the empress. Some of you guys are readily available for this person. Do not be. And do not be. Could be someone you have children with. All right, let's get one more spread here. No strings, okay? This is not what you want. Somebody wants to continue a situation with no strings attached. Reckless love, sex. Yeah, Jezebel. This could be a karmic feminine. It doesn't have to be a masculine in this energy. This person may have secret accounts with bad news and backstabber. All right. I feel like this person is a type that they don't get their way. They're ready to air out all your dirty laundry. Whatever secrets you may have told them. Whatever you may have confided into them about. Um, they're ready to just spill all the tea. This person is a 304. They get around. They could be addicted to sex. Yeah, this may be the bad news here. Pregnancy, not happy. But then it does say fake news. So this is somebody who will lie about being pregnant. Don't let this person upset you right away if you're a masculine energy because this could definitely be fake news. They could be lying. They could be just saying this to get your attention in true karmic feminine fashion. All right. Or if they are pregnant, it's not yours because this person is a Jezebel. They have sex recklessly with no strings attached. Okay. This person has a lot of karma coming towards them. They could even be having a mental breakdown with Firestorm. You could have a love-hate relationship with this person. You got Wish. Yeah, I'm hearing Trey songs. I wish I never met her. I wish I never did it. I wish I never fell so deep in love with you. And now there ain't no way we can be friends. Like somebody, there's a fatal attraction here with a jackass. Somebody is definitely reckless as fuck. And they, you 
could be running from this person. This this person thinks they love you, but the way they show love is very toxic. I feel like this is definitely coming to an end. It may be a fatal one though. Yeah, you have running again. You could definitely be a masculine running from this this Jezebel. Somebody is married and the spouse is keeping tracks on them with married and GPS. I don't know if this is you. Psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go, period. You're dealing with a psycho? Any little thing pisses this person off. They're never happy. Nothing makes her happy. Nothing makes them happy because they're not happy with themselves. They don't love themselves. That's why they mistreat their body. And don't care what they do to others or how they affect others, literally. You got heartbreak and you have legal matters. Some of you guys may have to take legal action in regards to this person. I see paternity court here, taking this person to court to get a DNA test. I feel like if you're married, this is for some of you guys, there's a love message coming in, or you may be sending a love message, a message of an apology, or praying and praying to heal the marriage because there's children involved here. Yeah, karmic lesson. Some of you guys may have gone through a karmic lesson with a married person, or you may be married and you're going through a karmic lesson with this Jezebel. And you have rejected your love, hate. Yeah, it's split on rejected again. Alright. So that's what I got. Pray it helps. I like this video and I'll check you on the next one. Peace.